Hey guys, let's see how to fix a Dell laptop black screen problem. You see here that I have a Dell Latitude 7490 and it's not turning on. You see here just a black screen. So in that case, you need to check some things, right? The first one is to make sure that you have power on your laptop. You see here that you have a keyboard that with a backlight, right? Sometimes you can see if it's on or not. There's also a light here on the caps lock and a light here just in front of the computer, there is an LED here, right? Just make sure that you have some kind of light here, then you know that your computer has power, right? Because the battery could be damaged or is not working. The first thing that you can try is just grab the cable, okay, from the power supply, connect here to the computer to see if it goes on when you power it up. Just press the button here, try to power it up. If it doesn't work, then you try the second thing here, which is just remove everything, cables, pen drives, everything, right? And just press and hold this for 30 seconds, at least 30 seconds to just flash uh, the electricity from the motherboard and try to boot up. Let me just press and hold here to see if it works. You see now mine's working because I see some lights here on the keyboard and I see also the Dell logo here on the screen. Just for a while, it's popping up. I see the logo again. And I just wait for you to see if it Windows boots up here correctly, okay? You see that goes to the black screen again and then comes up with Windows. So it's working pretty fine, right? In your case, if it doesn't work yet, could be related to the battery, right? So let me just uh, power it down again, shut it down here and try something else. You see that I don't have too many options. The first one is just make sure that have the battery working. In my case, it is, right? Perhaps in your case, it's not working. The battery could be, I could have a problem, right? Now, also the power here, I'm sure that mine's working because I have a multimeter here, this device here that I can test. So I can just use this device, put it here on the scale 200 and uh, continuous voltage and I can test uh, the, power supply, right? So I can come here with the probes and here you see that I have an internal pin there Then I need to reach with this red one here, try to touch the pin. Sometimes it's a little bit hard, but you just need to touch it. And also here on the outside, you need to touch with the black part. So you can see if you have voltage there or not. So let me just try here to reach with the red one and put this one here, okay? I think I didn't reach correctly here inside. Let me just try again. One more time. It's a hard work here, but it works. There we go. 19.3 volts. So the battery is working. Pretty fine, right? If you don't have any power at all here, or well perhaps your power supply is damaged and it's not charging the battery. So you don't have power at all. So in my case, it's not, it's not that. I have power here as well. It's working pretty fine. And you see that I can turn on it without the power supply. So the battery is good. But in your case, if it's not, you need to close the lid down and open the computer. I know it's an extreme measure, but you have to do it, right? Because if it's not working at all, you need to open it up and check the battery. For my case here, I have two screws. I have this one already loose because I was opening this before to test the computer. Let me just uh, loosen this other ones here. I have three on the left side, plus three on the right side. There we go. They don't fall off of the cover here, okay? They stay in place. Just need to loose them up, like I'm doing here, and remove the cover. There we go, just one more. There we go. And then remove the cover like so. Super, super simple. Okay. And here is the battery. Okay. Let me just approach here so you see that I have this pin connected to the battery that I can just pull it out. So what I do here is just pull it out. Okay. And you see here, that's this part for the battery. And you just wait for one minute to see if that's 
that's the problem and that could solve the problem as well. Sometimes it's just a glitch here. So I remove the power from the motherboard and put it back and it starts working. Another thing that you can do as well, if it, that doesn't work, you can do this first. If it doesn't work, you can also remove here the CMOS battery. You can just dis disconnect from here. Okay, you just pull this out again, uh, as well. Disconnect and wait for a while and then you connect it back. Basically, you're, you're clearing the CMOS memory here, the battery, right? And here also there's the RAM module. You can release them just like so. That way you just, let me just put it here so I can do this better, right? And approach the, the camera here, the zone in, so I'll see better. There we go. You can just release here and here. You see that I can remove the module from here. That's the one, run memory. And I can also clean here with the rubber and put it back. Just in case, guys, if like uh, when you open the laptop, you can do all of these procedures at the same time because you already have it open, right? So you can just clean the module here, do the same with the second one, just right here, remove it, clean here with the rubber and put it back super simple to do this just put it back and push and you're good to go and also here let me just show you that's the battery it's the original battery from dell 60 uh, watts hour and that's the type f3ygt 7.6 volts right so the original battery so it's already it's connected for more than one minute let me just push this back to place just make sure that's well connected here. Again, here, closer. Just make sure that's well connected here. Okay, so the wire is not gonna work. And now if the battery is still good and it still has charger a charge here, and if your power supply is also working fine and charging the battery, you're good to go. Let me just uh, close the cover back. Just make sure that it put the correct way here. There we go. Check here if you have everything aligned. Let me just zoom out again so it's better. There we go. See here, that's well aligned. And here as well, before you tighten the screws up, down, sorry. There we go. just turn it over one more time open it up now i'm using just the battery if i have charged there it should work and i just press here i see the lights here ready and also here you see the light here so i know that i have some charge there in the battery i see the logo here on the screen as well so it's looking good the computer is coming up the black screen one more time Again, I have a Dell Lat 27490 and now it's working and I have Windows up, right? So super, super simple. So that's the way to go. If your Dell Latitude has a black screen, you need to check those things. Remember power, okay? Measure here if you have power. If you have a multimeter or you can ask somebody to help with that. Also change uh, from the outlet, perhaps in the other end where you connect to the outlet, the power supply, make sure that's well connected, right? Make sure all the connections are good. And then you plug it here to charge your battery, okay? If that doesn't work, just remove everything from here, hold for 30 seconds to flash everything here to drain the electricity from the motherboard. If it, that doesn't work as well, there is no other way other than close the lid here and open your laptop and check there the connections, RAM memory, and also uh, the battery, right? Just unplug and plug at the back and see if it works, right? And also the CMOS battery, right? Hope that helps. That's the way you can fix the problem with the back screen on your Dell laptop. Leave your comments here if that works for you or if it doesn't work for you, right? And also leave your thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. See you in the next one.